the end of January, Panama will be the first Central American country to host a World Youth Day. The organizers are preparing a lot in order for the event to produce much fruit. One of the events on the Pope's agenda will be here in the St. Francis of Assisi Church. It's where he will hold a meeting with the Central American bishops. The church became a hospital and also a school. It even hosted the Constituent Assembly, where Panama's first constitution was born. Ever since it was built by the Franciscans, the church has passed through different hands. This is the first church and convent of the Franciscans. Later, after their departure, came the Jesuits, who were the ones who gave this new architectural touch to the church. They returned to the Isthmus of Panama and undertook restoring the church because it was in poor condition. The Jesuits prepared a project with architect Mayer. He is the one who built and designed the current church, which was finished in 1918 and is what can be seen today. Another symbolic church in the historical city center called Casco is St. Joseph's, also known as the Church of the Golden Altar. Legend has it that when English pirate Henry Morgan ransacked the city in 1671, a priest painted the altar a dark color to disguise its value. However, it's not really made of this precious metal. It's carved on mahogany wood and covered with a gold leaf. After the devastation Morgan brought to Old Panama, the altar was moved to its current location. The church is another building in the area that is under restoration. It was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1997. The original splendor of this entire monumental historical complex is also being restored, the same as in the 17th century, when it formed part of the old walled Spanish city founded in 1673.